have everything cut. Now it's uh, time to get out of here. So I just got back and I was unloading the materials and then I realized the two foot pieces shouldn't be 24 inches. Um, if you didn't know by now, I want to make a box or a ledge or a grind box or a mani pad with a grind edge on it, like however you want to word it. It's going to be two foot, two foot by six foot. But I realized it can't just be two foot pieces of two by four and six foot pieces of two by four because if the edge is six foot, then the two foot pieces have to fit in between the two two by fours. So they have to be, I guess, 21 inches. I don't know. I'll measure it, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, so I got my plywood, uh, my tempered wood, my two by um, sixes, and then the correct length um, two foot ones. Well, they're not actually two foot because I was wrong. They were 21 inches, and I made sure by measuring it uh, like 15 times. Um, and here are the, the like three inch portions that I cut off. But enough about that because I feel dumb enough. Um, <clears throat> oh, and then I got the the exterior screws. Uh, I probably could use the interior ones because I plan to like store it away anyway instead of just leaving it outside. But you know, just for precaution. Uh, I got the exterior ones, and then um, I'll show you how I'll, I'll show you my thought process of how to assemble it, and then yeah. Okay, so basically this is the layout I have for the top of the box. Um, it's six foot, so it's 72 inches, and then there's five spaces because I have six boards, so 72 divided by 5 is 14.4 ish I don't know so every 14 inches I, I place the board so it would be evenly um, gapped and the weight would be distributed evenly so I have that and then we'll see the next step so I finished putting the uh, plywood on top and if you look, uh, I guess you can't really see. I guess, yeah, here, so there's a screw here, and I left like this much space. That's so that I can put the, the, the grind rail on this side. And I can put the, I have enough space to put the screws for the rail and for the masonite on top. So I guess that's the next step. All right, so I ran into a little bit of an issue. Not really an issue. This is the angle bar I have right you know the right angle I gotta drill holes into it are you freaking kidding me <laughs> so I'm gonna have to drill the holes but look at the sky remember when I was telling you guys about the rain so I guess I'll finish tomorrow I don't know we'll see all right so it's been a little a couple days or so uh, since the last update and I'll explain in a second because it's probably the most essential part of building all this. But so I have the box and I want to put this uh, flat rail on top of it or flat bar or whatever. And then I also have the tempered board. Um, but the reason why it was important is because I'm going to use the drill to drill holes that are the size of the screw. And I'm going to use this which is a countersink and it's going to make it so that the man this is so shaky it's going to make it so the screws don't stick up while you're trying to grind and that's obviously very important because you don't want to get caught up on a screw so i guess this is going to be fun to get that drill drill all these holes and i'll give a progress update um after i have the holes drilled all right, so it's proving harder to be uh, than I thought to do countersink. This 
countersink bolt sucks. Um, maybe it's better on wood. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm doing it on metal. So you have to have like one of those fancy five fluid ones or whatever, whatever it's called. But what I found out is if you use, I'm using this drill bit because it's the width of the screw. And I'm using this drill bit because it's the width of the head of the screw. And so what I'm doing is I'm alternating between the two. And I'm doing the, the one that's the screw size a little bit until it won't, um, you know, break through the metal anymore or shave it away or however it works. And then I use the bigger one and it does more because it's bigger so it scrapes away more and then I'll alternate between the two but you have to be very very careful with this um because you don't want to use the big one and go all the way through the metal because then it wouldn't be secure um so that's what I'm doing now I'm hoping that the regular countersink um bit that I got will work well on the top of the box rather than the um the metal I'm assuming it's the metal and that's why it's not working I, I don't know. I'm new to all this. Um, I have two more to do on the metal. I was just taking a break because it's really tiring switching back and forth and it's really, really hot out and whatever. I'll stop complaining. But here you go. Two more. Alright, so I got the flat bar on. Um, if you see this here, this is the one. I don't know if you can see, like it's um, kind of up more. That's because that's the one that I used the counter bit with, which sucked. And then this one is the one where I went a little too far. And then this one is perfect. And then uh, this one's okay, I guess. And this one was perfect. And then this one was the counter bit one too. I did the counter bit ones first um, to hold the bar on there. But now I just got to do the other side of the bar. on this side this one didn't turn out so great but all the other ones came out perfectly I don't know if it's focused or not maybe maybe I'm just too shaky I don't know but uh yeah that's the that's the smart part oh it's so hard my brain's not even working now I just have to put the tempered on top and so I'll uh check back in when uh, that's done. Finally got uh, all the holes in the countersinks drilled. Now just to put the screws in. So, I just finished the box. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, you know, for my like first time building a box, really. Well, I mean, I, I've dabbled in it when I was younger, but like, I mean, it was nothing like serious or something. I was just <laughs> hammering a bunch of wood together. But this was actually like planned and everything, you know what I mean? So it's different. But I think it turned out pretty pretty well. Uh, I like that I did the counter, the countersink for the screws. Um, that'll make it easier for grinds and uh, on the top I did it for lip slides if I can ever do those <laughs> but uh, I think it turned out pretty pretty good uh, if you have any questions about stuff definitely let me know like if you want to build up you know try and follow my example which honestly it'd probably be really hard um, because I don't know how to speak but <laughs> but uh, yeah, just uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll definitely, definitely help you. You can just comment them or message me or whatever, and, and I'll give you, like, whatever help or input I can do. Um, I'm going to skate the box probably the next video. I'm not going to do it this video because I'm really tired. Because uh, I skated yesterday and the day before, the day before. <laughs> and uh, I'm just hot, you know. It, it actually took longer to do the box than I thought, and that's because of the countersink. But... It'll be worth it. Uh, any trick suggestions for the next 
video for the box uh feel free to comment them um you know i i don't know i don't you know i'm like just starting again so i don't really know what i should go to first i'm assuming 50 50 or 50 probably 50 50 since it'll be both trucks so that'd probably be easier uh i do plan to make the box higher honestly i'll probably do it in like a week or two uh just because it's so low so I'll, it'll just seem like so small and and like i don't know i want to use the word easy but i doubt all the tricks are easy but uh i'll probably make it higher i'll, I'll probably make it like a foot like add a foot to what it is now um i think that'd be a, a pretty pretty solid height especially for alerting stuff load and then I can also, you know, do like manuals and all that kind of stuff on top of it as well. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys want me to do anything. I want to learn crooks. Um, I think they look so awesome. I don't know why, just they just look so awesome. So I'll probably do like 50, 50, 5, 0, and then and then crook um, just because they look so cool. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope I inspired you or helped you or uh I don't, know, I don't know maybe just entertaining hopefully um let me know when you want to see next uh yeah i guess that's it till next video see you.